Hello guys and welcome to episode 60 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Prussia going for world domination. Today is the day that we wipe out Sweden. We managed to move our troops to our Diaz and now we're going to be attacking it and taking it out. Taking it out. <laughs> uh, yeah and then after this we'll move on and hopefully wipe out Denmark as well. We've been making some good progress. The only people who are holding me up right now are the Maratha Confederacy, and I'm still not really sure what I want to do with them. We could just play defensively until my other armies arrive. But then I feel like it kind of gives them the advantage in a sense that they're going to continuously bring their armies over towards me now. And it'd be better if I could kind of chip them one by one rather than having to deal with them all at once. Anyway, I need to figure out how I'm dealing with this fort. First of all, so I think we just start maybe over here and then roll up on the corner. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep, let's do that. So we just roll up here and get into range and pummel the corner all right that must speed things up lovely i'm not really sure how like european troops are going to react in one of these forts whether or not they'll react the same way as the eastern troops have but I don't think so, mainly because these guys have all guns, whereas the reason that the eastern troops kind of sally forth really fast from the breaches is because they mainly have melee forces. I think that's the reason why. Yeah, either way, we're going to take down the corner, and we should be able to do it pretty fast. So if there are troops on there, it's very likely that we'll kill some of them. We'll unlimber, start smashing the corner of the fort. And any units on here should get taken out pretty fast. It's already to 45. 49. 49 is perfect, actually, because it means that they're not going to start moving off it until it reaches 50%, which it just did. And then we'll maybe have a chance to kill them. Amazing how poor shots my cannons are sometimes, though. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to actually catch any, <laughs> unfortunately. And unless we get rid of the ones on the stairs, we need to hit kill it quickly, though. Well, oh, they're actually climbing up. Oh, this could be really bad for them. Really good for us. Take me a lot of trouble. Oh, there we go. Boom. Oof. Anyone who's on the stairs has got decimated. Yeah. They lost a lot of men there. Wait a second. No, they didn't. <laughs> Those guys just fell off and got back up again. These guys died, though. Maybe it wasn't a big enough fall for those guys. Wait, what happened here? I'm, I'm confused. Did my artillery kill my horses? I think they might have. What absolute pansies. Alright, it's fine. We have one set of horses left. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sending these forwards on their own. That's a really bad idea. Right, let's uh, run my dudes forwards. Get forwards. Okay, good. Right. 
What I'm going to do is we're going to set a couple of these to the left. going to set a couple of them to the right. We're going to get the cannons that have limbered to deploy like so. And then we'll fill in the gaps in between. going to move up the howitzers to the corner. We can use them to hit any of the troops inside. Although I say that, the thing is with the mortars is they just really aren't that accurate. But I'm going to start running these into position since they're getting close. I think I'm going to put this one on this side instead of this one. Looks like they're going to hug that side. Oh, we're still going to hit them nicely. Totally fine. Annihilated. <laughs> Very good. Right, let's uh, unlimber those. We can just start hitting the units further behind. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to have to kind of like faint a push into the breach. I'm just going to do this. As soon as they unlimber, which they should do any second. I don't know what they're doing. There we go. I could definitely fit more men across here, but... Oh well. Good, they finally actually fired at the right target, that's good. Those back into position. Okay, let's speed things back up again. It does look like they kind of react in a similar way. They sally forth. This is so much faster though, <laughs> with these kinds of forts. Absolutely annihilated. No chance.
Are they going to group up and come out of here instead? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh no. One by one, they walk into Canister Fire. Swedish, do not go down lightly. Alright, uh, they have these Amazons chilling out over here. So I guess we just finish things off. Right, let's uh, go kill them and that will be it. Oh, there is a unit behind. Oh, that's the horse artillery. Oh, yeah, let's just grab all our men and charge in. They do actually have range, I just realized that. <laughs> Oops. Let's just charge him. They're the only unit left other than the cannons, so I'm hoping they just break. I could have one of the units in the meantime go and capture the center, actually. I will just do that, and rather than engage in the cannons, because they'll just canister me. Lovely. Well, that was relatively simple. And Sweden is destroyed. Feels good to be a cannon crew, eh, guys? Not dealing with you today. Alright, end the battle there for the heroic victory. And job done. Goodbye, Sweden. Alright, we can move these boys on. And we destroy that. And we fix that up. Good. Stockyard. I could destroy these dockyards, honestly. Because they're not really useful to me. Like it'd be much better I'd be much better off just like using these dry docks, for example. Of the Spanish. And we just make this into something else. I think we're just going to destroy that one. Make it into like a fishing port or something. <laughs> Bit of a downgrade, but an upgrade in terms of income. Yeah, these two dry docks are pretty nice. I could pump out a couple of third rates or second rates. Be pretty nice. I might actually do that. Third rate ship of the lines. And I'm also gonna start building some trade ships there. I was just looking at these. Like galley galley. Only has four guns. I think the main thing is just boarding, right? With these. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. That's fine. Captured that. Captured that. Sweden's destroyed. And captured that. Great. So, it took a while. But yeah, Sweden's gone. Uh, let's go over to... Our next army that needs to be moved. I think it would be this one, uh, which we're going to head up to Arkhangelsk. And I guess we just exempt that so we don't have to stay there. 
I have this army ready to go. We want to drop off here and head up towards this fort. That will give us another foothold here, which would be nice. Okay. Right, we do have this army ready to go. I guess we attack this army. If we don't, they're just going to build up more. So we're going to just kill this and then we'll fall back into Armenia and just go from there, really. Because I'll have my troops replenished. And one nice thing is, obviously, these are the troops that... I didn't actually realise that initially, but these are the troops that we fought before. They are actually very depleted. It should be a pretty simple win. And then we can yeah, take the replenishment and carry on to the next settlement. It is worth me destroying these though, because otherwise they will get them fully replenished and come at me come back at me with them, which would be bad. So let's just spread out my line. Just gonna do this like the simple way. Where we just kind of like take out a couple units in good positions for the guns. Like this. Okay, we can keep these guys in reserve. Let's go. Oh wait, what? <laughs> what is that? Okay, that's not very fun. Those mortars have range. I did not expect that. What are they firing at me though? Like flame shot. Yeah, that was just normal rounds. And if I have to advance towards them, then I have to advance towards them. I really don't mind. I'm just ho kind of hoping that them trying to do stuff with these cav is going to make it easier for us to just finish them off. Because after they attack with these, they'll probably come and attack us with the other units. Yeah. So we already killed the elephants, that's good. Not sure they ever get into canister range here. Well, maybe. Maybe just. Oh, perfect. They actually moved towards my canister. That's good. It's like carcass shot, isn't it? It's got to be like right over my troops to actually do damage. I'm not too concerned. Alright, I think we'll just stop these firing. And we'll just move our line forwards. Let's just go get them. 
Go get him, men. And they actually did hit me there. Kind of need to make sure these lines are more spread out, honestly. They are being surprisingly accurate. Kind of tempted to just charge them. We'll do it after we put one volley into them. And we hit the mortars. Can I not charge these guys? I'm trying to right click on them, but it won't let me. <laughs> Very strange. It's fine. It doesn't seem to be registering my order at all. Okay, we'll just moan down. So weird. Okay, well, we'll just end it there again. That's fine. <laughs> and we take that. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll just head back again into friendly territory. I'm almost tempted to build a fort here. I could always leave my guys. This is actually a pretty good place for a fort, honestly. Yeah, let's build a fort. A wooden fort. I don't think I've ever seen like a fort, like a wooden fort, in battle. It'd be cool if they actually attacked us. Yeah, it's interesting. So I can upgrade it to an artillery fort, which I think is like just like a standard fort. Huh. All right, well, we'll move this guy back in this direction so we can see if any new armies come this way. Uh, I think the Maratha Confederacy just took that. I don't know if they had that before. See anything else I need to move? These guys need to move. It's fine. Uh, these fellas should be okay. And probably move on with these guys now, at least. And catch up with us. Okay, cool. If we can move these guys out of here, I'm going to move them over to Brussels. Very 
very good. Alright, regions, let's have a look. Syria's not liking us very much, but that's okay that we just captured them. And same with Algiers. So I think everywhere else is okay. Sweden's fine. Iceland's fine. It's good. Let's just check our ministers. Any good ones? Uh, bon, vivant, bon Vivant, sorry, and uh, Pius. That's not bad. What's I have this guy in America now? He's got harsh reputation and bon vivant, as well as the happiness for nobility. This guy, I think, would be better in the Americas. Just because we don't have this harsh reputation, so that would just be overall plus one public order, which I think is just generally better. Like, yeah, it would lower our bonuses, but. I think overall, that's better. Like the the repression across the ESR, I think was only plus one. I mean, if it was plus two, then that's fine as well. But it's whatever. Uh we can like lower the tax here. It doesn't that doesn't matter at all. Good. Actually, I should have recycled these before I put him in there. Mind. We still get extra spots to fill. Who's this trading with? Is this? I think this is trade with the United Provinces, I guess. Which is currently blockaded by Denmark. But Denmark will be dead soon, so not to worry. I'm thinking what we can do with this army is actually go and take out Tripoli maybe or maybe we use this army to take Tunis there's a lot of Farlock arms history there though the other thing I need to do is take Malta uh, that's <laughs> something else I need to do uh, wipe out the Knights of St. John yeah all right, well, uh, let's see about recruiting some troops here in Berlin. I might actually wait. Can I build that? Not yet. That's the one I'm destroying, isn't it? I say, when we get this, we unlock the superior line infantry. So that would be nice to have if we're going to send the army off to the Americas. But since we're not going to have that for a little while, I'm probably going to just start by recruiting some other troops. I need cannons. It's fine. All right, let's end the turn. I didn't move my rakes properly, but doesn't matter. Russia's just all over the place with these armies. I'm going to have to go deal with that one that just moved into our lands. Ah, there's another army. That's a good general as well. <laughs> That's like a nine star general. Okay, George has declared war on us. Great. <laughs> I guess we're staying defensive. <laughs> I, w I didn't really want to stay defensive there, but uh, with Georgia attacking us as well, they can easily take a settlement from us. Okay. New town to lose. Cool. Uh. This should already be converting, right? Yeah. So we're just going to pop that in as craft workshops. It's fine. Trait gained. 
No sense of shame. Plus one to happiness and ability. Cool. Not sure that's too helpful. Instructions done. Recruitment report is good. We had workers on strike in Algiers as well. We'll do coaching in here. And we'll go for the fisherman's port. I don't think there was anything else I missed, was there? Can I move these guys out? Yeah, I can. Okay, so these can come join me over here. Because I really want to be able to move on this army. I'm going to leave my general here. And we're going to move them in there. We're going to exempt it. They really don't like us. I'm going to leave those. And we'll leave a cannon. And I'll leave a calf. The rest can carry on. And if there's a rebellion, I'm hoping this army can deal with it. Right, should we see if we can make this work? They did occupy the port, didn't they? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to work. And the trouble is, if I drop them off on shore here, and then they can't attack, we'll be next to the settlement. And then this army will also come and attack us. And then we'll be in a really bad spot. So I think the best bet is for me to grab these guys. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to. And drop them off next to this army. Good. This army, I think, needs to kind of start heading down. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is probably get back into Yerevan. I could leave my guys in the fort here. I don't even know if it's worth it, though. Yeah, this army is extremely isolated right now. But they did get the reinforcements, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I almost think the other thing we could do is place like most of my army in between Yerevan and the fort so that we are able to reinforce both. So we do this. We'll have them in there. And we'll do like something like this. I'm not sure if that will work, but we'll give it a go. I just don't want them to attack me right now. Let's send these over. And Kara is totally fine. We could, in fact, recruit some more troops here to help us out. Do I have any cav, actually? I feel like this guy needs cav. He does. So let's do that. We'll grab at least a couple of these colonial dragoons. Cool. Right, this army can attack Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I am a little bit worried, however, about public order. But I can't really do anything about that. So. 
Let's just grab some dragoons and some colonial militia. I might actually do grenadiers and colonial militia because the grenadiers aren't colonial grenadiers, they're just grenadiers. So we'll grab grenadiers and the colonial dragoons. Could also pick up some more artillery actually. I don't know what kind of artillery I'd want. Uh, it's fine. We'll grab a colonial militia as well, just to help with public order in future. Alright, let's do it. Now that little army there isn't reinforcing. I expected them to be able to, but they're not. So that's even better. Let's jump on in. So this is working out really well with the Ottomans because we're kind of picking off little bits of their army as we continue forwards. It'd be nice to see if my rake can go and find the other parts of the Ottoman army if there is any left. And let's just find the best way to approach this fort though. I think this side is best. I don't really have a good place for my initial guns here though. I want to hit that fort. I might want to just place them here and fire directly at them. Let me bring these over to the right. And yeah, these are going to be isolated, but honestly, if these get destroyed, I do not care. They can just get a head start on the on the breach, I guess. I don't think they have many cav. Oh, I say that. They've got camels. And it could be worth moving over there with a unit. Just to kill the camels if they come out. Might be good bait. Honestly, we could just keep moving forwards, I think. Because those cannons are going to have yeah done the job anyway. <laughs> nice. Trying to keep an eye on these camels right now because they definitely were looking at coming out there. We'll have to try and keep an eye on our cannons here as we advance. Alright, let's uh, spread out my guys a bit, because it looks like they really want to sally forth.
gonna keep these like this actually. That's fine. Is it getting a bit too close? Alright, whatever. They have their guns just there, which is kind of funny. We already took out that gun. I don't know if we'd be able to take out the next one. Oh, we took out that gun. Nice. Wasn't even aiming at that one. Was aiming at this one. Do I have line of sight to shoot here? <laughs> that would be insane. I think we just go canister with the rest of these. Should be able to just shoot him in the back. There we go. Honestly, surprised how long they are lasting. Also, I'm not sure where the, the whole line isn't firing. Kind of annoying. They should all be able to fire. We did. We are getting some nice shots, like lengthways down this line. I think the best one to hit though would still be this, if I can thread it down the side here. I'm gonna keep hitting the wall, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right down the line. That killed a lot of them. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what I want. Oh, let me just snipe their general. Oh, he's not happy. If 
Okay. Let me just stop this firing. And we're gonna move up there. Force into melee again. Come <laughs> on, guys, you can win. There you go. Easy peasy. Next ones. I'm also kind of considering. climbing. It. I just realized these are colonial line infantry. Probably why they went for firing so well in melee. Yeah, I am kind of tempted to climb here and just shoot the cannon crew. I think that's part of the reason they don't want to come out. They might kill this unit, but I don't really mind because they're colonial line infantry. I just need my men to get in position ASAP. And they can actually shoot down off this wall. That kind of just kind of stood the breach. I think it did. It's grim. I'm gonna want to get through that ASAP then. I'm yeah, saying that they're gonna met forces into melee, aren't they? I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way.
The big issue with a melee like this is they won't surrender until army losses. So it's going to cost me a lot of men. Like I should really get into melee here. Fine. Although I'm gonna wanna let me charge these guys in the back. And then we're gonna wanna pull away. <laughs> yeah. This is why I spend so long. Making sure the battles go my way, and we cap and we play out these breaches because otherwise we just end up fighting to the death. The reason I'm standing here is so that we can capture this before the battle ends. And that way, save our men. <laughs> We have done a good job here, at least. Are they gonna shoot my horses? I think they are. We're gonna dismount. <laughs> we use our horses for cover. Yeah. I've almost killed every single one of those guys. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? there thank you very much oof that was a horrible battle for us but we did take Jerusalem so I guess I can't be that unhappy uh, let's just go check Egypt oh there's actually not too much here okay good what is this it's a craft workshop anything else I need to worry about don't think so. So we'll just fix this up. And yeah, they're going to be happy with us, so that's good. Next turn, I'm hoping we get that replenishment, but we'll see. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, I guess we'll be looking toward wiping out the Ottomans. Not sure how quickly I can march on Cairo though. Or Baghdad for that matter. Because we're going to take Cairo and then probably use this army to march back towards Baghdad. So it's going to take me a while. And whilst that's all going on, we still have to deal with the Georgian army and also now the Maratha Confederacy's two armies. As I mentioned before, like playing defensively is going to mean that they're going to build up on our border quite a bit. 
we have some pretty rough battles. We do actually need to kill this Russian army. So that's something else we're going to be doing. We're going to be moving towards Arkhangelsk, which I don't think is going to be very well defended. We can take that region. But yeah, we'll see. That's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,